Welcome back everyone for another session of Brickscat Tip of the Month. Today we're going to see how to export a PLY file from Provis and convert it to a DXF in Brickscad. Here's how it's done. First of all, in Provis, uh, you can upload your PLY file using the upload scans in the appropriate area. So if you click here, this uh, button here will allow you to select your PLY file and upload it. And once it's, once it's uploaded, you can access it when it's ready to use. So the status will change to processing. And when it's ready to use, you can click on C scan, display selected scans, and this will initialize the uh, visualizer as we can see here. So we have a small or body here and we can see the coordinates. So here's my X, Y, and Z. And to visualize this a little bit better, I can go in the options, change the color representation to color by attribute and change the variable to Z. Now I can basically see the bottom and the top of my or body. And what I'm gonna do next is go to download files, close solid and make it CAD compatible. And this option is very good for CAD users and it'll, it'll allow you to um, import your point cloud file in uh, BricsCAD uh, easily without any trouble. And then afterwards you can name your solid, let's say or body generate solid and then you'll get a message saying your file is being created. You hit OK, go to go back, and then switch to meshes. So here you'll basically see a processing status. And all what you have to do is just wait a couple of minutes until it's ready to use. Uh, so ma make sure to refresh. And there we go. Uh, we have it ready here. And we click on see mesh. Uh, and then display selected meshes. And this will show your closed solid as we can see here. And essentially what you can do is that you can change the uh, viewing of this solid here. So for example, if you want something similar to BricsCAD, you can change it to wireframe. Uh, you can also change it to surface with edges as you can see here. So this is more of a conceptual view uh, and the volume will be automatically calculated for you as well. You can also enter a density and calculate the tonnage of your ore body. So in this case, it's 22,000. Now I'm going to go back and what I will do here is go back to meshes and I will download this ore body as a PLY file. You have the option to download it as DXF, but I'm going to show you how to download it as PLY and then upload it to BricsCAD. So download as PLY. Here we go. We have ore body one. Now I'm going to go to BricsCAD and from the modeling uh, category in Promine, I will use the PLY command. So I'm going to click here and then select the ore body PLY file. And then I'll have a message saying file processed successfully. Hit OK, zoom extent, and here is my ore body. Uh, what I can do is quickly compute the volume of this using uh, a density of two for the tonnage. Hit OK and hit enter. And now in my command line, I can see it's 22,000. Yeah, so it does match Pro Provis. So the volume and the tonnage are good. And now what I can do here in this case, uh, if I'm, you know, like doing uh, mind planning, uh, what, I, what I can do here is divide this or body into uh, slices. And I can do that from, again, the modeling category from solids. First of all, what I have to do here is to draw a polyline that will represent the area of slice. So in that case, what I'm going to do is go to the draw, start drawing a, PL, uh, a polyline. And I'm going to start from here, a point from the extremity, uh, extend it and click here, put it in ortho mode, then go 10 meters, for example. So like that, and then draw down here one point here, up there, and then close. So I just want to make sure that I cover the area of the slice. It doesn't matter if my polyline is perfectly shaped, you know, but I want to make sure that this is uh, covering that part of the ore body is completely in the in the polyline that I'm cutting with. So you can imagine that this is a, a knife that's cutting the ore body. And make sure that you're on plan view when doing this, because then you want to make sure that the polyline is actually overlapping this. It doesn't matter if the polyline is um, you know, like whatever ele elevation it's on. It's just you just want to make sure that on plan view, 
that you can see the polyline covering part of the ore body. All right, next is to use the slice solids command from the solids module here. Select the entity, so this is the ore body, hit enter, and then select the uh, polyline, hit enter. And in this way, what the program is gonna do now is that it's going to cut the ore body to fit inside the polyline. So when the command finishes slicing the ore body, if I hover over it now, I can see now that I have this slice. What I can do actually is uh, just create another layer called ore body section, uh, change the color just to make sure I can differentiate it from the other ones. And I'm going to put this slice here on the new layer. And as you can see now, this is what the slice the, this is the slice that was cut and I can turn off the other one like that and there we have it now we have this uh, piece of ore body if you switched it to realistic view you can also see it here what you can do as well is close this mesh by se selecting the close mesh command click on the ore body and this will proceed to close your mesh and then what we can do now is essentially go to file, save as, and while saving this, uh, you can, you know, save it as DWG, DXF, and this will convert your file to DXF. So that was the BrickScat tip of the month uh, for now. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.